Hello, Nigel Harris here from Rail Magazine in surroundings which a few of you may recognise from some of the TV interviews I've done. It's my little home office in Lincolnshire. And I'm here to remind you about the National Rail Awards. Um, it can't take place, sadly, this year as a real event, um, so we're going to do it virtually. And I'll be honest, the first time I heard about this idea, I thought, how's that going to work? But having seen the technology, I think it's going to be really good. And in any case, the industry earlier this year made it very clear it wanted the NRA to go ahead by just carrying on and entering, regardless of the problems that, that we all know about. And it's probably never been more important than to reward and recognise excellence and achievement um, by the tens of thousands of railway men and women around the country that kept our transport system ticking over for essential workers and for goods, of course, um, during the pandemic. Now the railways are starting to come back to life. Um, and so on September 17th at four o'clock, um, we'll be broadcasting a virtual National Rail Awards 2020 ceremony, which my very good friend Hugh Edwards and I will be presenting. We're going to film it a little bit in advance against a green screen and there's some marvellous technology uh, which will put us, well, we'll see where it's going to put us because it could be anywhere. Who's to say? So I do hope you'll join us. Um, please register. You won't be able to watch it unless you're registered and there is an upper limit on um, registrations and we've got hundreds of people registered already. So please don't delay, please join us. You can get the pizza and beers or wine and canapes ready, either on your own or in little groups, socially distanced, of course, and, and join us for the show. Hugh and I are really looking forward to, to shooting it for you. And September the 17th, Thursday, four o'clock, it'll be broadcast. Do join us. Bye for now.